I was recently asked to explain how the stitching mechanism works on my Model 15K sewing machine. The 15K has a vertical shuttle and bobbin, but for ease of explaining the process, I'm going to demonstrate on this Model 201-2, which has a horizontal shuttle and bobbin. It's a lot easier to see the relationship between the upper and lower threads in this orientation, but the principles are nearly identical. The bobbin lies flat in here. To form the stitch, the needle brings the thread down. As the needle lowers, this exterior circle starts to rotate. You see this hook? It comes around, passes around the needle, hooking the needle thread, and you can see how the hook here has taken that thread, and it brings it all the way around in a circle. The loop of needle thread then locks around the bobbin thread, so now if I pull on the tail of the needle thread, it pulls the bobbin thread up through the hole, and now we have both threads on the top. On Model 15s, the shuttle is referred to as oscillating. So, whereas the shuttle on the 201-2 makes a full 360 degree rotation, the oscillating shuttle goes about two-thirds of the way around, at which point the upper thread has passed far enough to continue the rotation on its own, and then the shuttle returns backwards to its starting position. And the process repeats. But back to the 201-2, the outer shuttle hook, which rotates around the bobbin, comes around, grabs the needle thread, relaying it around the bobbin, locking around the bobbin thread, and forming the lock stitch.